Robert, Robert Mullins. I'm Catherine Hamilton, and I'm playing Cookson. My name is Gavin Schoen. I'm playing Starkey. I'm Casey Gabbert, and I'm playing Noodler. My name is Daniel Johnston, and I'm playing Smee. Uh, well, with Mullins, I'm kind of approaching him as afraid of Hook, but at the same time really wants to impress him and take Smee's job. Um, and then as far as the voice of Mullins, I am taking that inspiration from Sean Connery. <laughs> Getting that lateral lisp, which I thought would be fun with a pirate. If he were a child on a playground, he'd be the bully that kind of pushes people over and then runs away. I'm trying to embody Cooks, I imagine him as like a puffer fish, so I kind of try to try to puff myself up and be as big as I possibly can and and uh, really get my voice from below my diaphragm. He is a, a former usher um, from a public school, uh, back when usher meant a uh, substitute teacher. Having spent that time as, as a substitute teacher, he's pretty much loathes children. He, he just cannot stand how messy, distracted, and just how they're, they're a mess to him. Um, he basically just looks down at them. He, he just, you know, he, he speaks higher and his chest is a little puffed down. A little, you know, standing straight up. He's trying to, trying to remain a little bit of a gentleman, but he's, you know, hung out with the higher crew long enough that he's, he's lost most of that charm. Um, he's described as having hands fixed on backwards, but really that means that he's clumsy. Um, initially I tried to like trip and stuff a lot, but that was a little difficult. So it's more like he stutters, he trips over his words, he's clumsy that way. Since he's so awkward and he stutters, I feel like when he was a child, he was so smart that like he didn't develop any people skills. So he fell really easily into the pirate thing, since everybody's kind of a misfit there. He's one of those kid or people that's just like you know oh, something shiny. Like he he can't focus on one thing for too long, and I feel like he's so scatterbrained and so. Uh, airheaded, that he can't fear Hook for too long. So like he he's not he's not, he doesn't fear Hook because he is at all courageous. He just doesn't fear Hook because he can't comprehend long lasting fear. I just kind of like all the journey that we've done to actually discover what a pirate is. Everybody has this set idea of what a pirate is, but they actually have a history of where they come from. They used to be privateers, sanctioned by the crown. So. Um, even though we tend to be a little bit unrefined as the crew, we're deadly with weapons. I was doing research on the superstitions, and if you harassed a seagull, that would bring a curse on your ship. So we've also had to define what we believed as pirates, so that we don't do something taboo. And also just the fact that, and, and the audience might not know what our specific roles are on the ship, but the fact that we know really helps, like, yeah. It, yeah. you know, there's definitely a hierarchy amongst ourselves when we're on stage, which is, it's also funny that, like, according to our backstories, none of us aspired to be pirates. We all just fell into it, and I think that's what makes us so scary. Honing down, like, the minute details, so that everything is, like, real. Especially with the gender bending. Yeah. Also trying to break out of the stereotype of what people think and see of a pirate. You know, they're pretty much, you know, they're just going to sing song, yo-ho, yo-ho, and just, you know, that's all they, you know, and that they're very clumsy, you know, with their weapons and they're just thrashing around, you know, and what we're, what we're trying to do is make them very real, very believable people, and at the same time, make them very dangerous as well. It's so it's just fun. Fun. It's <laughs> lifelong dream. Yeah. 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 It's uh. it's really cool to find because um, like as an actor you see that they're villains, but your character you can, they think that they're good, yeah. and you mm -hmm. have to find what's good and what what they really want and and what they believe is is because they're doing the right thing mm -hmm. to them. Basically, within the show, there's almost no rules yeah. Yeah. for a villain, which is what's yeah. beautiful. It's easier I mean, to be over the top yeah. and get away with it. In, in a way, I actually really like being a villain far more than what I might think of as a hero. Yeah, because like with a villain, you know, there's there's like different types, and you can be, you know, you don't have to necessarily be 
this the, the bad guy. You can be the villain that like the audience loves to hate. Mm -hmm. You could be that charming villain that Hook is. Yeah. With being an actor, be, getting to play a villain, it's like you could do all these horrible, horrible things, but at the end of the day, you're just someone portraying all of these uh -huh. acts, <laughs> and it's like you've gotten away with it. it it's like you know, it's like you know, it's, it's the perfect crime. Yes. I think you really learned a lot about your character. It, it helped me a lot, at least, because um, you, you see what you're fighting, and you see like who you're a villain to. It made me, my character at least, obsessed. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. I am so into Baby Bear. <laughs> 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 you know, and it's, it's really cool to, to actually, like, you know, conjure up those feelings of bloodlust yeah, exactly. and those villainous feelings, and it really helps with, uh, with everything else. So. So not only was it cool to experience, you know, sword fighting, which I've never done, but, but it was cool to, to also put that into your character and really feel your character, you know, doing those physical activities. I have to say how thankful I am that Smee is more of a backstabber. Like, it's so fun to just be so low yeah. and, to, you know, to just take people when they're already down. That's so dirty. Yeah. But it feels great on stage. <laughs> Come see Peter Pan or The Boy Who Wouldn't Grow Up. From April 28th through May 15th. At HCC Smith Theater. Come join the fun. <laughs> Arr!